Hi, I'm Nicholas Bauer. And I'm Mark Sismas. You're watching Fight TV, and today we're doing this. Yeah, fish on! <laughs> That's a nice one. Wow, what a monster. Hi everyone, welcome back to Fly TV. I'm Nikos Bauer and I'm together with my good friend Mark Sitwas from Smart Rovers. We're in Holland and we're going to do some float tubing for pre-spawned big mamas. So what do you yes. say about the conditions? Our conditions are pretty good. The water is around 10 degrees on most spots. And most pikes in Holland uh, spawn at 11, 12 degrees. Yep. So they will be close to the spawning areas. We're in the mid, uh, the uh, mid of March, and uh, the spring has been a little bit warmer than normal down yep. here. Yeah. In Sweden, it's much colder than normal, so it's nice to be here. Uh, the flowers are starting to burst, and the uh, yeah. Easter lilies are already blooming. So, feels good to be down here. Yeah. So, what do you say? Should we do some float tubing? Yeah. Let's jump in. Get yeah, some big go. mamas. Let's go. We fish here in the channel near the drop-off where we search for the bait fish and the fish is almost ready to spawn now so they will be close to the shallow areas so we search for the drop-off from one meter till five six meters deep and there we hope to find some decent pikes we fish here with the heavy sinking lines the sink seven and we do slow retrieves so we can stay deep as you can see, Mark is uh, fishing all these coves. He's going really close to the shoreline. And I'm fish, fishing the edge here, where the slope is going down to three meters. So it's really about finding all these small coves and try to pocket the fish. And right on these small edges, you can have a fish that is 125 centimeters and 15 plus. So it's really cool. And you need to be thorough when you go through these pockets here. Fish on. Probably a small male, it's not that fat. Just hooked it on the stinger hook, but we have a pike. Nice one. A little fat male, probably here on the shallows to spawn in the next week or so. So I hope there is also a big female in this area. Oh. First one on. This is one of our favorite patterns, a tube fly with a lot of black flesh, the black holographic flesh, with a red all inside. It's always a little bit murky water here, and it gives a really good silhouette for the fish. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Why do they have a dish brush on top of it? For the birds. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they can clean their ass? <laughs> <laughs> Big birds you got in Holland, man. Yeah. <laughs> Like they fallen from a tree. Let's go. Much respect to the all around crew. And any of my homies been influential. You were flirting, you're about to get caught. Twisting the hips, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. Fish on. Whoa. <laughs> I went from a wiggle tail into a wave tail. In silver? Yeah. Second cast. On the shallows? Yeah, right on the weed line. On the stinger. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, one. Really nice one. Yeah. Haven't started spawning yet. The black and green tube. And then that silver wave tail. Just makes that extra flash. Yeah. Into the murky water. Right on the stinger. <laughs> really fat one. Yeah. Perfect fish. She is ready. 
Yes. <laughs> Good job. Yes, man. Good Thanks, job. man. Nice fish. Yeah. That fish took a simple tube fly. If you want to know how to tie it, you can click on the right corner up here and click the tie TV link. And you can see how it's, how it's tied. This is tweaked with some green in it, but the one you can watch on the tie TV link here, it's with some blue on it. I just fished a two and a half gram cone head on it. And then the wave tail, this is a bigger size in silver, just to get that little contrast flash when you pull it. Worked well. We came to the new spot, and this is a channel between two big lakes. And the fishes came here to migrate to the spawning areas. And they stay underneath the bridges, like the pillars are hollow and they can stay underneath. And there's also the bait fish and there's a little bit of shadow, so there's always a good spot to catch some pike. And uh, in the channel it's around four to five meters. There's one little place of six meters deep. And we fish the fly close to the bottom with a heavy sinking line. But most because of the current, the pike is staying close to the bottom. This environment we're fishing here is so cool with all this structure. You really need to, uh, to think a little bit different compared to Sweden. Uh, all this structure, all these shade parts holds bait fish, so we just want to get those flies into that shadow parts. Really, really cool, and you can learn a lot from this type of fishing. I'm positive that this will work in Sweden and Finland and Norway too. Not only in Holland, so need to try it. Fish on! Yeah. Small but fat, probably a little lady. Best way is to take it by the gills when you're fishing from the belly boat. Yeah. It's getting a little bit angry. Small but nice fatty. There are still a lot of worms on the pike, so they're still standing near the bottom. Pink articulated with the new dragon tail silver. It moves really well when, with the slow retrieve. And we always fish it here with a cone head so you can fish it deep near the bottom. It's one of my favorite colors in winter time, the pink flies. We move down from the bridge and this is the channel where it enters to the big lake. And then we have a fairly shallow bay area here that's full of bait fish and then we have a very nice slope here out to the channel so we're just gonna try to fish this uh, slope here see if we can find some big fish standing on the slope ready to move in here to hunt or to spawn see what happens it's really good weather for pike fishing. yeah for spring pike for spring pike fishing is i think it's it's a good day yeah the temperature is a, a, a slowly bit, gliding, bit of wind. climb during the day Fish on! Yeah. Uh, yes. Bigger one? No, uh, a strong one, but I don't know. It's big. A decent one. I now fish with a little small black fly with a little bit of cold, some white feathers to imitate a little bait fish. And when it's clear skies, I really like the flies with black. They give a good contrast. They are still pretty fat. They didn't spawn yet. A lot of worms still on the fish, also on this side. So they are laying on the ground. Hey. No, hey. Nice fatty. Yeah, that's a really fat one. Yeah, probably a lady. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. So we're changing spots. 
We're just gonna jump in the car a little bit quick and uh, go to another spot. Yeah, go to another spot. Let's yeah. give it a try. Let's give it a try. Game. Normally the fish likes the shade of the bridge. They are standing on the edge from light till dark. That's a good good striking point for the fish for the, so the bait fish will see them less. The gear we fish here down in Holland is um, nine foot rods, uh, ten weights, because uh, some of the fish can be really really big. And sometimes you also need to hold them from structure and uh, concrete pillars or bolts or stuff like that. So we definitely prefer 10 weight down here. Uh, I fished the Big Mama rods and this is the new saltwater Meriswala. Uh, sinking lines from intermediate, but what you really need is like a sink three, sink five, and uh, even uh, even faster sinking lines you can bring. It's not a good, it's not a bad thing. Big flies, with or without wiggle tails, but in in colors like uh, the black bream, black flies is good, and also uh, some green and gold and pink is usually colors that works really well here. But uh, make them not too bulky so they sink well, that's uh, important flies to bring. So we're fishing this channel now, but we're gonna go out, it's a small hole here, but we're gonna go out in deeper in the deeper water. We have a nice hole, about nine and a half meters, I think. Yeah, nine and a half uh, meters. Hopefully we can find some really nice pre-spawn pre ladies out there. Yeah. The water is much clearer here, uh, so it, the water is also almost two degrees colder than some of the other spots. Yeah. So the fish is not ready to spawn yet. We're still probably two weeks away. Yeah, uh, probably one to two weeks. Yeah. Depends on the weather. So it's perfect for hunting them on the edges now. This is probably one of the spawning places around here. We have a lot of grass out here. So, uh, but it seems there's no fish right here, so they're probably st staying a little bit deeper. What do you think? I think they will be deeper. Yeah, yeah. They're still feeding on prey. Yeah. And they are not moving till the spawning grounds yet. No, not in this place. Shall we move out? Yeah, let's yeah. move out to the bigger, deeper place. To the hole. To the hole. I saw a big echo on the depth finder. It's about six meters deep. And he hit the fly really hard. We're fishing a, a really deep hole. Oh, uh, nice, nice one. Nice one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Good job. Nice one. Oh, it's a fat one. Ooh. Fat one. <laughs> I think we need a cradle there. Woo! Got the cradle, man. Oh. <laughs> I got the cradle here. Yeah. She, 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 she's not happy with me. No. <laughs> It gave me a good fight on the 9 foot 10 Marosola rod. It's a really nice rod for fishing pike. Lightweight, good backbone, and easy with casting big flies. That's why. Fucker, banana. 
<laughs> That's why. <laughs> to put a banana in my belly boat. <laughs> Eat it. Oh yeah. What? Well, you have one. <laughs> <laughs> I got two. <laughs> Green and gold. <laughs> Green and gold. <laughs> Follow the leader. When we fishing these deep holes and the fish is standing really deep, the last two fish I caught were on about seven, eight meters deep. Then we use the reverse stripping. We call it that way because when the, water, the, the edge are dropping down, we strip the line back like this and pulls it in again. So you can stay deep for a long time where the fish is. Like this, you strip it up a few times, really slowly, then you can strip it back, like this, and always stay in contact with your line, because a few times you get the strike when the fly is sinking down. <laughs> Let's talk about slow fishing, man. <laughs> Even the crayfish could grab the tail. So oh, I was definitely close to the bottom. Oh, that's so funny, man. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever caught that before? Yeah. Or? Yeah, I caught it before. On the wiggle tail or? Not on the wiggle tail, on yeah. the hook. It's a nice prey also for sender. They eat them also. Let it swim. Crayfish time. <laughs> That's fishing deep and slow, man. Yeah, I was. <laughs> That's the trick. Taking it to a new level. <laughs> slow fly fishing. Fish on. Yes, <laughs> nice. Sander. No, it was a small a pike. <laughs> Why? Small pike. A small pike. I thought it was a sander first. Another nice pike again, on the deep hole. She hit the fly really hard again. We caught a few fish in the hole here now. Uh, and uh, we're getting kind of a good picture of it. Uh, a lot of the fish is standing from the edge between five to eight meters down. So uh, we're just working around the edge just the whole time, trying to find the, where they're standing, find to f trying to find a big echo on the bottom, and just work that place really, really down, down and dirty. Heavy cone heads on the lines. Fairly short cast and trying to get that fly really down to the, to the fish. So here you see this deep hole, it's uh, 9.5 meters at the deepest here. And then you can see the edges here around 5 to 6 meters. We have caught the fish along these sides here. So we're trying to, f to, to fish the, the drop off between 5 to 7 to 9 meters down here. This is where we have caught the fish. You can see in this little bit more shallow part here, when it's not so steep, that's we caught, we caught two fish in that corner right there. So, so now we're entering the new water here, as you can see. As you can see, it's starting to create the map here. I haven't been in this area. The red line is where I've been fishing. Uh, so I haven't been to this area, so now it's creating and redrawing the map. But this technique is not only useful in, your, in, in new waters, it's actually really useful in your home waters too, because you have a cove that you think is, you're usually catching fish in that spot or that spot, and you don't really understand why. And then you find out that you have a really rocky bottom there or you have a deep hole. It's really, really a helpful tool. Another nice fish from the deep hole. Probably also 90, 95. Really nice one. She hit the fly really, really hard. Probably you see where the fly is. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> it's really inside. Pike fly facing from a belly boat. 
the best there is. Yeah, you can't get better than this. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Man, I got some things all on my brain. I hit it for y'all on a train. So during the winter time uh, here in Holland, the uh, the bait fish has a tendency to school up here in the in the in the harbors. But now it's more of a spring trip, so the, the bait fish are starting to move out. But there's still some nice fish hanging around into the harbors. So we we'll see if we can catch one of those. So most of the places where you have a little bit shade. The bait fish school underneath and then the pike stands underneath the boat and also under the docks. So what you want to do is you want to cast the line against the dock and kind of mend it up. Oops, missed one. There was one. Uh, it was standing right at the dock, so. You nibble it just twice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Normally in winter time you find the pike in, in the harbors near the structures like the docks and near the big boat. They lay underneath it in the darker places so they can strike the bait fish and we hope they will strike our flies. Fish on. Good. <laughs> nice little harbor pike. On the Making golden cast. bream. Sorry? Golden bream. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a fat one. It's a really nice bike. So cool with these uh, harbor pikes. It's really a cool environment to fish them. There she goes. Yes. Good job. On the golden bream? Yeah. Yeah, uh, black bream. With a wiggle tail or? Yeah, cold wiggle tail. Yeah. This is limbo, belly boat limbo. <laughs> Full of bait fish. Yeah. When you're fishing these harbors and structure in general, it's not about casting long distance because you have a lot of lines and stuff like this. So it's more about getting the fly into the corners and especially where you have some shade because that's usually where the pike is standing. So it's not really about casting, it's all about swinging that fly in, letting it sink down. And then just work yourself some distance and then retrieve it. And the cool thing is this, when the pike strike, it's really, really hard because you're on so short line. So it's, you're just gonna rip it out of your hands. It's badass. Fish on! Yeah. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, vals gehaakt. Vals hoekt, I think, but I think it's a big one. Huh? Yeah. Fucking rope. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. The rope. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Is it power hooked or? Yeah. Stupid rope. It's a really big one. But it's a really big fish. Yeah, it's 15, 15 kilos. Yeah. But was that the one? That was probably the echo I saw. <laughs> <laughs> that was shitty. <sighs> Just have to get it up and release it. It's really heavy. Yeah, but it's, it's like 15 kilo pike, so. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> My knife uh, hook a pike falls. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you fall. 
like how you fight a false 15 kilo bike. <laughs> I really can't move her. She's that fat and that strong. Uh. <laughs> Where it's gonna go, please. Fuck. <laughs> It's 15 plus any day. It's now in shallower water. And she's hooked in the tail. So she's really, really strong. Oh. One more. Or maybe with the tail. Something like that. Whoa. Hold on a second. We'll get her in enough here this way. Yeah, but it's... She, she turns around. Oh, <laughs> that's a big fish, but it's... It doesn't count, but I still doesn't want a picture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we can uh, weigh oops. it also. It's really yeah. shit. Yeah? Sorry, but... That was a workout. I, I never saw a big bike like this. Uh, never. This is a really big bike. Really, this is Shall we just go in and take the measurements, see how big she is? Yeah? This is unbelievable how big she is. <laughs> That's how a fat Dutch pike looks like. 120? 120 and a, and a bit. Yeah. 120, <laughs> 125. 18.32. 18 in the cradle. Just have a look at her and then release her so she can spawn the upcoming days. She's a really, really awesome fish. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a big fish, man. She's so super fat. And really ready for spawning. Really to, ready for spawning. So we have to release her. Yeah. Just let her swim. Like this. She's gone. Bye oh, bye, whoop. beautiful lady. <laughs> that was a big girl. A really big girl. See what her weight, what she weighed. 166. Minus so 1832. 16.7. 16.7. Yeah. It's just a crazy fish with a crazy story. <laughs> and you know what? You have it on film, Mark. Yeah. It was really cool to see the biggest pike I've seen alive so far. I would have been really happy if it would have taken one of our flies. <laughs> that would be better, yeah. Maybe it did. We don't really know that, but. We are just happy that we have seen her and we can ha we have released her healthy. Well, as you just seen, uh, there are some really big pike in this harbor, so we are we're staying to the bitter end. <laughs> Hopefully, we can uh, catch uh, her sister or something like that. And something is funny is happening out here. There is a big wake and bubbles out here. Let's go there and have a look. See what it is. When you have a bright day like we have had today with almost no clouds whatsoever, usually these uh, last hour or last two hours can really be uh, the hunting hours for the pike. And especially when you're fishing these shallow spawning grounds like I'm fishing at the moment, can really be the key thing. Oh. Yoohoo! <laughs> yeah! A fish. Hit really hard in the surface. Ah, it's a nice one too. I'm fishing really shallow here. We saw this. We saw something up in the surface before, and uh, took off the cone and and just put the normal tube fly on it. That's a nice fish. Just inhale the fly completely, as you can see. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
That's a nice one. <laughs> Talk about rock stone hard. She hammered that black tube fly with the silver wave tail. Really nice fish. Really heavy, healthy fish. 